Hey guys, Tony from Tony Teaches Tech here, and today I'm going to be looking at a web hosting service provider called Linode. This is the first time I'm ever going to be doing this. I'm going to walk you through the process of starting up a server for one of my websites, and we'll do this together. So without any further ado, let's hop right on into it. So I'm here in my Linode dashboard, and I um, haven't configured anything yet. Let's go ahead and start up a server instance. So under create let's go to linode i think i'm saying that right and i'm interested in doing a wordpress install so we find that under one click installs right up here at the top wordpress and let's go down here our wordpress latest options they want an admin username go ahead and type that in the password uh, we'll do the same thing email address and we'll do Tony at TonyFlorida.com. Let's just see what they have under advanced options. Oh, that is advanced options. The site title, Tony Travels. This is going to be a travel blog where all my travel blog posts live. The image, it looks like you're only allowed to have a Debian image as opposed to like Ubuntu or another type of server operating system. The region, um, since I'm in Pennsylvania, I'll pick New York, New Ark. New Jersey, which is very close to New York City, which is where a lot of my traffic comes from. So that's like a good um, recommendation to have your primary server be close to where a lot of your traffic comes from. Now the plans here, um, since I'm just testing this out, let's, I think I want at least two cores and this will give me 80 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM for $20 a month. Let's go with that plan. Uh, the label for this WordPress, we'll just call it Tony Travels. Add tags. I don't need to add tags. The root password, I'll type that in. Mm, SSH keys, we don't need any of those. Backups, they cost $5 a month. Uh, we're not interested in that. And a private IP, I don't think I need that either. So that looks good. Um, $20. Let's go ahead and create this Linode instance. Don't want to save that. Okay, so it's provisioning, it's at 0%. Uh, let's see how long it takes. We're at zero seconds right now. Oh, it says it's right there at 13 seconds ago. It started doing that, I think. We'll see if it counts up or down. Um, looks like we have some monitoring tools built into the dashboard here. And that's just sitting there stagnant. We're still at 0%. Um, if this, takes any longer. Oh, there we're at 20%, 32%, 37. It's moving. Looks like it's good. Is it good? Yeah, it's running. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. That was actually pretty quick. Now, usually the first thing I like to do is to log... Well, let's find out our IP address. Oh, there's our IP address. So let's go to our IP address in a web browser. Cannot reach it. What's going on? Um... Where is some like help information? Settings? No. Not really sure where to go from here. So we did a WordPress installation. I don't see anything in regards to WordPress here. Um, like I said, I'm a new user, so that's definitely part of it. Let's try to go to the IP slash WordPress dash admin. That does not work. And I know to first install WordPress, it's WordPress admin slash install.php, maybe? Nope, that didn't work either. Um, hmm. Refresh the page. See if that does anything. No, we still have the same exact setup here. All right, well, it says it's running. You can reboot it, power off. What's the console? Okay, so this looks like a terminal type console. Maybe it's still um, setting up. We can, well, we can't access it by SSH either because, you know, we're, uh, we don't have the credentials for that. This is really weird. We'll keep this going in the background while we poke around a little bit more. Uh, it says it's booted, okay. What do we got here? Volumes, ad block storage, networking. There, here's our SSH. So let's go ahead and open a terminal window. 
go ahead ssh root at that ip address that's fine now what's our password do we see password anywhere here no um i typed that in so i know what the password is okay we're in so that's cool um let's see so usually it's installed wordpress var www there's a WordPress and an HTML folder, so let's see what's in HTML. Nothing. Okay, what's under WordPress? There's our WordPress files. So if everything's configured correctly under the hood, I would think we could be going to this end. There it is. Okay, so um, that's good. WordPress admin. Let's go to the actual WordPress website. Okay, we got it. So. Tony Travels, that was actually pretty easy. You just had to wait a little bit longer. It was a little bit misleading, but we got it uh, set up and ready to go. Since this is our IP address, let's go ahead and change our, um, what am I trying to say? Our domains DNS settings to point to Linode, that same IP address. So I have my domain with Google Domains and uh, just domains.google.com under the left-hand side under DNS. That's the page I'm on. Um, we're going to keep using the Google domain name servers, but down here under custom resource records, we want to change the A record to the IP address of Linode without the HTTP, just, just the numbers. Um, so go ahead and add that. That's the 1721. Yeah, so we're going to have to not add it. So for let me make this as clear as possible. When you come in here, if you're using Google domains, you're going to have something like this. It's completely empty. What we want to do is type in our IP address here and click on add, and then you won't see that error message just because I had a IP address in there before. Um, like I said before on my channel here, Google Domains is actually pretty quick. It doesn't actually take 48 hours to propagate the DNS. So if I type in tonytravels.com into my web browser, it should be good to go by now. Anyway, back here in the dashboard, we see all of our configuration options. We have the ability to resize it and we can downgrade it, which is awesome because I know with other cloud hosts like um, Volter, for example, they only let you upgrade. They don't let you downgrade. So if you see like a spike in traffic, you want to upgrade for that. If it goes away, you can downgrade safely. So that's really good. And it looks like you can move sideways too. You can change your plan from a standard plan to a high memory plan. And I'm just telling you this based on what I'm seeing here on the screen. Uh, there's a rescue tab, which I'm not sure what that does. Rebuild from image, backups, we don't have backups, activity feed, settings, and the disk configuration. So it looks like that's our disk storage. So yeah, I think that's about it. All I wanted to do today was to set up a WordPress website with Linode and see how easy it was to do such a thing. Um, let's see if we can get the DNS working at this point. So let's go to our guest window and go to tonytravels.com. There we go. Okay, so we just had to wait a, a little bit more, like one or, one or two more minutes. Um, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. It's really um, simple, as far as I can tell, to set up a WordPress instance with Linode. And the reason I like using cloud computing type of services versus like shared hosting or even a VPS for that matter is because they're just so quick to set up, tear down. Um, you don't have to share your server space, like your resources, RAM, CPU, all that stuff with other websites who could potentially hog those resources. I know in 2020, especially, and beyond speed for your website is huge for Google search engine optimization, getting organic traffic from Google. So you want to make sure your website runs fast. And that's a really big chunk of what this channel and what my website Tony teaches that tech is all about making sure that you have an optimized website with all the very good and free WordPress plugins that are out there making sure that your website is optimized for search engines, so SEO optimization, and just to teach you guys all the tech that comes with hosting a website. So um, hope you got some value out of this one. 
If you did, definitely let me know below. Consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.